The conference has faced several challenges. Knowledge-based teaching has become obsolete. The orientation towards pedagogical professionalism has replaced these conceptions, and more focus is being given to teachers' ability to develop professional autonomy and become proactive agents of change. So not just carriers of change, but proactive agents of change. What does this uh, require of skills of uh, teachers or expect of teachers. Teachers are supposed to acquire competence to establish powerful learning environments for a high quality education and training. Teachers should be able to transform academic knowledge into teaching and learning situations and develop what we call as holistic education or the Bildung, the, the, the German term Bildung, erudition and being qualified for market uh, life uh, re uh, requirements. Uh, it also involves cooperative problem solving and teamwork as it is indispensable for meeting the challenges of teaching and uh, learning. This comes from the study of Bu Berger, uh, who is one of the uh, main authors of the European Green Paper on Education, and uh, who, referring to whom, if we can also say that uh, the teacher education reform of 2010 in Albania introduced several advantages points like uh, the existence of a major and minor for students, developing more research skills, uh, developing more uh, technology and problem solving and critical thinking skills into the classrooms. But the results need much time to be uh, seen, to be touched, and the situation uh, still goes through some fragile and underlying uh, conceptions. The Institute of Education Development, which is the institute that I, uh, I'm head of, has got one of its directories, the Directory of uh, Policy Making. A study has been carried out to find how much the teacher education uh, curricula of the universities forms teachers to be able to teach in a tomorrow in a reviewed basic education curriculum. The basic education curriculum in Albania is going through a, a thorough uh, review process. And our study uh, was specifically focused on this, trying to find out how much into the uh, teacher education curricula contributed to the, te to the formation, to the pre-service formation of teachers uh, needed for the basic education of tomorrow. Uh, what the study found out was that there was a presence of themes and objectives in the subject syllabi intending to form skills and attitudes. For example, we would see themes like implementation of the new teaching methods or teamwork project and or use of ICT. We would see objectives like introducing students to core skills and attitude for teaching and learning activities. Another finding of the study was frequent occurrence of the use of interactive methodology. 65% of the students agreed that the program offered them the possibility to use a variety of interactive methods, while 55% said that the program enabled them to develop group work. Another finding was that there was frequent use of traditional teaching methodology. 38% of, uh, of the uh, students say that the lecturer gives the lecture and then shows this question for discussion. 26 of them confirmed that there is a traditional teacher-centered methodology used in their classroom set, uh, settings. And 35% confirmed having classes based entirely on interactive methods. Also, we can see frequent use of interactive uh, the methods and of technology in education, frequent use of ICT in the lecturing sessions, this and uh, rare use of this being conferred by only 40% of the students. In this graph, you, although it comes somehow uh, hazy, uh, the questions posed to the students were about effective communication, assessment of the student in the classroom, techniques for successful class management, uh, 
teaching methodologies employed in the classroom, teamwork and project work in the classroom, uh, use of ICT and, uh, me and, and uh, media technology, and uh, collaboration of the students with one another. Which are the teacher educations in the end, scenarios that could be promoted into the system? One scenario would be that establishing coherent, one scenario is what we call the systemic, uh, uh, systemic teacher education uh, process. Establishing coherent and clear goals and tasks for the entire system of teacher education, systemic relationships, and of components and contributions. This means that initial teacher training standards need to be finalized and approved. All along Albania, we still uh, have got a teacher education system that uh, goes on without approved standards, which makes it the, 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 the systemic uh, part of the process to be uh, challenged. Another scenario is linking teacher education and the teaching profession to a well-developed knowledge base and studying the learning processes of students. So uh, changing how academic disciplines are introduced, organized, and delivered, how they are transformed into the classrooms, and how they become studying and learning realities of the classroom. The third scenario would be introducing subject matter, more subject matter didactics, which provide space for scientific knowledge and empirical, uh, empirical sorry, practice as well. Teacher education institutions should engage further in the production and design of scientifically validated practices and educational software uh, that uh, serve as teaching and learning aids. The third, uh, another scenario would be enabling teachers act according to what we call context-oriented dynamics or developing collaborative problem-solving capacity, uh, adding research and development, more research and development components to teacher education, building partnerships with, between institutions of teacher education, and introducing the concept of professional development schools which are the schools that make a better link, a better bridging in between pre-service uh, pre training, sorry, in-service training and induction system. It's advisable in the context of reform implementation that a careful process of analysis and evaluation be carried out so that we proceed with research-based policy making and not policy making having uh, an impact on uh, what the results of research itself should be. Uh, uh, research being carried out with the purpose of increasing stakeholders' participation and defining which potential path or which potential scenario is needed in the teacher education system. This was my presentation. I hope I did not hold for too long. Thank you.